today we are doing Paki versus Krakatoa. These two chips that we are comparing today, they're both based out of Austin and pride themselves on being artificial free. If you hear some noise in the back, Alex is in the computer watching his favorite movie, Angry Birds. Uh, we decided to compare these because Krakatoa, I think that's how you say it, they're a brand new company based out of Austin and Paki, from my research, they seem to be based out of Austin, so they're both seem to be Texas based. Krakatoa is named after a volcano eruption, or volcano that erupted, and Paki is an Aztec word that means to be free or to be fiery. So we just wanted to compare and see if a new competitor in the area can, how it compares to Paki, which is an established yeah. brand. So that's- We'll see who, who's better. Yeah. yeah we'll the only thing is we're missing their- Oh yeah, there's, we're missing the jalapeno yeah. tropica, tropical, tropical, something like that. Yeah, there's five of them and five of them, five on each. Yeah. But on this one, we were we having a hard time finding it. We couldn't them, find so. it. We, got, we went to so many places and we could not find it. Okay, so we're going to compare the two least spicy ones. They're not necessarily the same flavors, yeah. but just the least yeah. spicy from each one and give our thoughts, crunchiness, flavor-wise, all that good stuff. Okay, so Let's this one is the Sour King. Zesty lime. Zesty lime. This is the uh, mucho nacho cheese. So the difference from these two that you can tell right off the bat, they have a scale on the back that it, it says like not hot, kind of hot, all that stuff. Yeah. But on this one, the, they, they call it the crack scale, which is like the Scoville unit scale, which oh, yeah. to me it's easier to understand. Yeah. And this one is rated at 5,840 Scoville units, SHU. And they're both uh, certified gluten free, um, no artificial flavors. The featured peppers on this is the bajillo peppers and the jalapeno peppers. Tastes straight up like a Dorito. Mm-mm. It really does. Mm-mm. They taste cheesy, but it doesn't taste like a Dorito. At the start, it, it is cheesy. It tastes like Dorito, but... It is cheesy, but... It tastes different. To me, personally, I've never had any of these except the spiciest one. And this... I don't know. I wouldn't buy it again. I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't it's, buy it It again. tastes like... Like a toned down version of Doritos. Yeah. Like yeah. Doritos have more cheese. All right, so let's, let's try, try this one. one. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. It is so limey. This is amazing. It is so good. Wow. It is really good, but one they are like favorite, exaggerating. One of my favorite lay chips is actually the lime one. And this tastes like like two times better. I'm a much a bigger fan of these kind of chips though. Where it's like... Crunchy, like, how they're do you like, say? Kettle, like, they're like, like the kettle, like the kettle, yeah. kettle brand or whatever, mm -hmm. you know. And this is more like a tortilla, yeah. So, I'm a fan of these, more this, like a nacho. This one tastes, yeah, like a nacho better. chip. Okay, next, we're gonna compare the next one in the pocket lineup, which is the Sesti Salsa Verde. And we're doing the hot, hot honey pot, spicy one, honey with scorpion chili. Man, one thing though, like, straight off the bat. Like, not having tried any of these. Whoever named all these chips for yeah. Krakatoa, man, they did a they great job. They get an job. A plus. Because yeah. all these, when you're reading it, it's like awesome. Yeah. Like, what is that? Okay. And all this is like, to be honest, like basic. Like, basic name, like sales it's and stuff. All right, so, this one. Oh, these are big. The chips for the they, Pocky are big. Yeah. I don't know if it's our bag, but they don't have a lot of coating of the mm -hmm. flavor itself, just looking at it. I've tasted this before. Mm. It's really familiar. There's that one? This one is pretty coated, mm -hmm. so let's see. Alright then. It tastes good. It tastes like... Mm. Mm -hmm. It's not really that spicy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, but... They're okay. They're not nothing crazy. Mm -hmm. They're very mild. You mainly taste the tortilla more than anything. At least to me. Yeah. And I got one that had a lot. The... I feel like the tortilla is very thick. Mm -hmm. Let's go on to the next one. Alright, let's move to this one. Mmm, it's sweet. <laughs> I love sweet stuff, y'all. Wow, so far, Krakatoa is giving, Everyone getting the, yeah. They're wow. delicious, wow. Way better. Yeah. It's yeah. the best. It's I love it. In this one. Look at this little They're button. so crispy and thin and flavorful and Don't spicy. Even... Like a little hint of spice. It's yeah. nothing like that. All right, so next is the Paki Fiery Chile Limon. And then for this one, it's Mustard's Revenge. Hot Dijon Mustard with Cayenne Pepper. Man, guys, this is like really orange, like a Dorito, so. Let's try it. This is really good. 
I thought it would be more spicy. This is the first one that has actually impressed me. I don't know yet. I don't I'm know. getting a little bit of lime with a hint of spice. But Okay, now I have some seasoning. I don't on know. It. I don't know how I feel. And this batch is really good. This batch seems to be different than those. Mm -hmm. Like it's much thinner. Much thinner. And crispier. Okay, so the next one is the mustard revenge. Hot Dijon mustard with cayenne pepper. I don't think I'm gonna like it. 9,490 Scoville units. It may be Whoa. <laughs> that tastes like mustard. This tastes like mustard. It does say it's mustard, you know? But, oh. I'm sorry, I don't like it. Mm. I, don't, I do not like it. I'll yeah. try it one more time because. Oh, try one more time. I can't do that one. It doesn't taste the best, but. Mm. It's good. It's spicy, it's sweet, nice. mustardy. Okay, so there's one left. So the fourth one for Krakatoa is the Kung Pao Thai chili and. How do you say that? I have no idea. Sichuan pepper? Sichuan pepper. Some, Something like that. Some 14,500 Scoville units. Did you get one? Yeah. Wow. Oh my God. It is so good. It's so flavorful. Think Asian food. I don't know. That's mm -mm. what I get. Yeah, mm -mm. no, no, no. Don't, don't. She doesn't know. Mm -mm. Her taste buds are weird. I don't know how y'all don't taste the ramen, but it tastes really close to ramen. Like, I, I know what you're trying to say, Mila. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like ramen powder. I, I don't know. Yeah. It's really good, though. Mm -hmm. It must be that pepper that we couldn't make. That, it's building up. I don't know, but obviously Karen is not doing anything for her taste buds. It's spicy, but it's not like, oh my God, the way that you're like. No, it's not like, but it is building up. You definitely need a, a cup of water or a Coke or something to go to the side. It's not like the hot honey one where you could just like eat and eat and eat and eat. I this could is eat and eat and eat and eat. Without a drink? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Man. Yeah, I need to check our other videos where Karen is, she's a beast. Yeah. Whether it comes to spice, she's a beast, like legit. Yeah. All right, so last but not least, All we're right. going to go ahead and do the black mm -hmm. magic. I'm black this magic. one. It's freaking <clears throat> hot. It literally says it's freaking hot. Oh, yeah. So this one is black magic Creole heat with ghost pepper. So ghost there, pepper. yeah. What? It doesn't say the scoby units. I tried to search how much it was. They're both made out of ghost pepper. <clears throat> I want to try this one first because we've been trying that one first. So let's do right. this one. Do it. Ready for my death. I'm not getting a kick. Me either. This is actually building up now. At least to me, it seems to be building up. Mm -hmm. mm. My saliva mm. is starting to build up because it's so hot. It went to my nose. As you keep eating more and more, it builds up. I, I think it's, it's really good. This, this I would buy again. All right, let's try this one. All right, so the next one, Paki. Man, that last bite, these have much more powder to mm -hmm. them. I feel like I like this version more than that one. When it comes to the tortilla one, well, I feel like the flavors combine much better in this versus the kettle. One thing I just noticed, I cannot eat, eat it with my mouth closed because it'll go to my nose. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I prefer this over that one though. No, I prefer these. I feel like those don't have as much flavor as this one. My throat hurts. Like, They're spicier, but they don't have as much flavor as this one. Mm. Let me try it with the little avocado thing. Mm. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> yeah, I get what she's saying. The Krakatau has the flavor is a little bit deeper. This is more like a spice. Spice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, straight up. My, my lips are burning now. <coughs> All right, so what's the verdict? For sure, my favorite out of everything, the hot hot honey. That is like man. Yep. It, my favorite is the king pao. I have to go with the hot hot. Oh, honey. It's not fair because the hot hot honey is not really spicy. It's more. It's just the flavor. The flavor is yeah. really good, but for Paquin, honestly, I'm disappointed in all of them. The only one I would probably ever buy again that is one. this yeah. one. Yeah. If y'all are fans of it, y'all definitely need to hop on into this one. Yeah. Yeah. Man, it is so good, y'all. Delicious. Delicious. Flavorful, spicy. It goes from least spicy to spiciest. They have a more um, diverse selection. My problem with Paki is it doesn't have as much flavor and it, it tastes so much like tortilla. Well, the first two do it. The did. first two. Um, sure. This one and this one, the tortilla was thinner and crispier. Yeah. And it had a little bit more flavor. It's not consistent but, though. <clears throat> yeah. That's not, weird. Yeah. It should be consistent. 
because this one is like a Dorito, the, the thinness and stuff. So is the, the purple one, but the Sesti one and the nacho cheese is like a straight up tortilla. We like to support Texas companies. So definitely give them a try if you haven't. This is a new company in town. They've been around this, I think this, this year is their first year. So if you see them in the store, um, definitely give them a try. Thank you everyone for watching. Um, comment down below if you've ever tried Pocky and if you're down to try Krakatoa. Remember to hit that notification bell to get notified whenever we upload our videos. All right, All right. guys. See you Thank in you the next watching. video. Bye. Some deuce.